We all want to step up to the golf ball on a nice par five and be 100% positive that our golf ball is going right down in the center of the fairway crushed. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the misconceptions out there about hitting it straight, how actually hitting purposely fades and draws, learning how to shape shots. And this is for 20 handicappers, 25 handicappers, beginning players, all the way down to scratch players. If you learn to hit these shots and, and go over the real deal that I'm gonna talk about in this video, you will hit the ball straighter. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna dumb it down. I'm not gonna simplify it. You're gonna get the real instruction here. And if you apply this to just one range session, I promise you, you will hit the ball straighter. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's talk about how to straighten up these drives. Now, one of the worst things that you can do that's really gonna make your drives not only shorter, but more errant, more crooked, is if we try to tighten up and guide our swing. So what ends up happening is we kind of go in this deadly spiral of we hit a bad shot. So let's say we make a nice swing, we're feeling confident, and we slice it over into the water here. Or let's say we snap hook it almost out of bounds or into the trees. Well, in the next hole, or maybe on this hole if we have to re-tee, we automatically think, all right, well, I'm gonna tighten up. I'm gonna try to guide this. I'm gonna try to steer this club through contact a little bit more because I don't wanna hit another bad shot. And what happens is you end up shortening up your swing. We don't make a full backswing. When we don't make a full backswing, now we're gonna lose distance. And when we tighten it up, even though it feels like it may be in more control, what ends up happening is we second guess it, we got it. We're using our, our conscious mind to try to steer it rather than letting our subconscious and our practice let that go and release through the shot. So you hit one bad shot and that's bad enough, that hurts your score. But then we tighten up the swing, we lose some yardage, and our consistency and our how straight we hit our drives doesn't even get any better. So what do we do from there? We hit another drive that's not very good. It's a little bit shorter and not very straight. And then we say, okay, well, I didn't shorten up enough. I gotta go even more controlled, guide it even more, and it just gets worse and worse and worse. Until eventually one day we say the heck with it, I'm not even gonna try to guide it anymore. You get to the range, you start to free yourself up a little bit, and then you start to hit some better shots and it gets a little better just to repeat the cycle all over again. So let's talk about how to break this cycle. I'm gonna give you real step-by-step -step drills to help you do this, not just ideas and theories. You go to the range, you follow these drills, you will start hitting them straighter. Now the first thing is, whenever we're hitting this golf ball, we need to release through the golf ball. One of the worst ideas that we can have is try to hit at the golf ball to guide it or steer it down the fairway. What I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and open up my body. I'm gonna have my hips almost 45 degrees open when I'm at contact. I'm gonna have my chest 20 or 30 degrees open at contact. And then everything is gonna be releasing from there to what I call the straight line release. So from contact and through the ball, out to here to in front, my hips, my shoulders, everything is opening up. My hands and arms are all pointing to about that 45 degree in front position. That's what we call the straight line release in the top speed golf system. So if I go ahead and put a golf ball in front of the ball that I intend to hit, about four feet, that's the point that I'm trying to release towards. So if I tee up another one here, the last thing I wanna do is try to steer or guide or hit that golf ball down the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and swing freely on this golf ball. Let me go ahead and see if I got this on my target line. That yeah, looks good right down the left side. I'm gonna go ahead and swing freely toward this golf ball and let the club do the work. I'm gonna trust that the releasing of this golf club is gonna allow me to hit it straight. So I'm letting my body open up, I'm letting this club release through the golf ball, and let's see what happens here. See if I can get one down the middle of the fairway. There we go, right down the center of the fairway. Nice little fade. Just ended up in the right center, right side of the fairway. Great shot there. So I didn't try to guide that or steer that or have it go you know, any control on that. I just let it go ahead and swing. I trusted that if I let this club release in front of the golf ball, it's gonna make things a lot easier. Now, we can't just stop there. That's the overarching idea. We can't control and guide. We have to free up the swing, let it release on in front, like a straight line release. But from there, now we need to learn to control the face and the path. So am I swinging right and letting the face release to hit a draw? Am I swinging a little left? like I did on that one, and letting the face stay open to hit a fade. And if we practice these, we're actually gonna get better and better and better the more we practice them. It doesn't take a ton of time, just a couple of quick range sessions, and you're gonna see a noticeable improvement. So let me grab my flight scope here, and let's talk about 
some of these angles that we're gonna look at to control facing path. Now, what I wanna see here is I wanna see if I'm gonna hit a fade, I want my path or the direction I'm swinging to go a little bit to the left. And I want my face to be slightly open as that's happening. Just a little tiny bit goes a long way. If I wanna play a draw, I wanna come from the inside and let that face release and turn on over. Now, here's the thing, everybody knows that, but everybody's been practicing it the wrong way. All the motor learning research out there has shown some really good secrets that we can do to speed up our practice and our improvement. If you wanna hit it straight, what we have to do is actually practice something called interleaving or random or variable practice, meaning that I'm purposely gonna to try to hit a draw and then I'm purposely gonna to try to hit a fade. Now we're gonna tie that in with a feeling of releasing the golf club rather than steering it, and it's gonna make it even easier. Here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just set up a tee on the ground, and before I ever hit a golf ball, I'm just gonna swing with my left hand only. Now again, this is gonna help me to relieve some of the tension in my swing. I'm not really gonna tighten up and try to guide that through there. I don't have a lot of strength when I'm just swinging one arm only. So I have to get the momentum of the club working kind of inside out, so I can see this club's coming from the inside and then releasing on over. Look how the club face is gonna turn all the way on over, now like it's almost pointing back down to the ground. I'm really exaggerating here. That would be a big draw type swing. So what I'm gonna do is just put my right arm behind my back and I'm gonna do five swings, really big draw, come from the inside, let that face release. And I just wanna let the momentum of the club do the work. I'm not trying to steer it and turn it over. I'm trying to position myself in a way and let the momentum of the club swing in a way that it naturally is gonna go ahead and turn on over. And I'm visualizing that ball starting out here and really drawing back to the left. Now it's really important to do these practice swings first and get the feel of that kind of effortless draw before we go into actually hitting a golf ball. If we rush straight into hitting a golf ball, we're gonna to tend to just do what we've always done. So five swings, hitting that draw with our left hand. Same thing with the right hand. Five swings, right arm only. Same thing, I'm letting that club come from the inside and I wanna feel the momentum of the club rolling on over. Look at the face again there, really turning over. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do five of these swings where I really focus on clipping the tee and I'm letting the momentum of the club turn on over. Now, if you do one and it feels like, oh man, I felt like I was gonna fade that one, go ahead and do another one until you get five good ones. So here, when I make this swing, that one felt like a nice draw. The one before, I felt like I left the face open just a little bit. Now you'll be surprised how good your feel is. I bet you know immediately if you're gonna hit a fade or a draw just by what you felt when you're swinging and clipping that tee. It's pretty amazing that your body is that in tune, but it really can be. So we're gonna do five good left arm, five good right arm. And now we're gonna go ahead and set up this ball and try to have that same free flowing feeling. And I'm gonna to try to hit a nice draw here kind of down the, around the corner on this par five. Let's try it out. There we go. Now I took that one right around the corner there, started a little left, went even a little bit more left. That's perfect. And if we look at, again, we're not trying to hit these dead straight yet. That comes with a little bit more practice from this, but that one we'll see my path was a little bit inside out, 1.6 to the right. And because I went left, I went ahead and released that face even a little bit more my face was five degrees to the left. So my face is really closing down or releasing like we talked about in relationship to my path. So you're gonna do five practice swings, hit a couple balls until you really get one to turn over quite a bit. I don't wanna hit a two or three yard draw. I really wanna get that thing turning on over. Now from there, the cool thing is, now your body starts to have a little bit of a muscle memory. I know muscle memory isn't really the right word, but it starts to build a little bit of coordination with hitting that draw. The way that you can mess this up, some of the things you wanna guard against, I don't wanna hit just a little tiny bit of a, a curvature, and I don't wanna skip over the drills and rush through them to try to get to the end. We gotta really take our time hitting these draws, then we're gonna hit the fades, then we'll be able to straighten it out. Now the second piece on there, exact same thing, get rid of the golf ball, now we're gonna do fade swings. So now I'm gonna feel like I swing a little left. So my body opens up. Again, I'm releasing on out in front, but I feel like as that club releases, so you can see the club shaft itself is releasing to our straight line release. But the face, instead of it really turning on over, is gonna go ahead and stay a little bit more open. 
So the face is coming a bit more this way. Now this usually isn't too much trouble for most players. Most players tend to, to cut the ball a little bit too much, but we're gonna still practice this. A little bit goes a long way. So if you start to hit a decent amount of cut, then you can really tone it down. So again, I'm going to the straight line release. I'm just feeling like I'm swinging a little left. And when that club shaft releases, the face is just staying a little bit open. So again, I'm gonna do five, what feel like they'd be a nice fade with my left hand and only. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with my right arm only. Five, what feel like it would be a nice fade. I'm not trying to guide it, I'm not trying to steer it. I'm trying to get the feeling of the momentum of the club moving through impact correctly. Now, once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit that nice fade out there. Lining up a little bit left, letting that club release on and out in front, I'm not steering it at all. There we go, and cut it right back into the middle of the fairway. So we'll see on this one, if I look on my flight scope, I should see my path or the direction I was swinging a little more left and my face a little bit more open. So my path was almost 9.8 degrees left, 10 degrees left. My face was 4.1 to the right, or meaning it's open to the direction I was swinging. So those are all basically just a big fancy way of saying, look, if you try to hit it straight and you try to guide it, it's never gonna work. That's not the way that you can get really straight and accurate in golf. What we have to do to get straight is give up our feeling of control. Get used to letting the momentum of the club head hit some draws the momentum of the club had hit some fades. So now I've found both ends of the spectrum, and now it's time to tone those down and get the straight ones here. So we gotta really spend a little bit more effort getting ready for these. Now we're ready for the straight shots. Same thing, I'm just gonna use two hands this time. So take the ball off the tee. I'm using this tee, and now I'm gonna feel like I'm swinging squarely and releasing the club to the straight line release. It's not open like my fade. It's not really closing down a ton like my draw. It's just releasing at about a 45 degree angle there for the nice straight shot. So again, I'm gonna swing five times and in my mind I'm thinking, okay, what's gonna feel like a nice straight shot? And I'm gonna clip that tee. Okay, that to me felt like a little bit of a fade. So I need to go ahead and release my hands a bit more let the momentum of that club roll on over a bit more and you'll be surprised how accurate you are at this. Let's try another one out. There we go, that felt like a nice draw. So again, while you're on the driving range, making a few practice swings, I don't wanna throw the golf ball down there and hit golf ball after golf ball after golf ball because my tendency will be to tighten up and try to control. I gotta clip those tees to lo let loose and feel like the club head is swinging freely. So now, I'm finding that middle zone. Let's see if I can hit a fairly straight one here. Little bit left on that one. So again, when I felt like I released it, I just did a little bit too much. And you may find that same thing for yourself. It's not saying that every single one is gonna be dead straight when you first start this, but you're gonna hit most of them straight after you get a little bit more practice with it. So let's give another one a whirl. There we go, and that one was straight as a string, maybe two, three yards of fade on it, and it felt pretty good. So that's the real secret there. Everybody wants to rush right into hitting the straight shot. We've gotta to learn to control this club and how it releases. If I can work on this individually with each arm and get the momentum swinging in the right direction, now it's gonna be very easy to find the center of the fairway. Try these drills out, I guarantee you, you'll like where you end up at the end of these, if you follow my directions.